Today I'm going to show you how to, in my own words, paint with a happy face. Um, this painting with a happy face style is shaky freestyle. Um, so it's very, very simple. It's based on basic brush strokes which come from calligraphy. So it's quite easy to do once you've practiced your basic brush strokes. To hold the brush, it's the middle finger and the thumb that hold the brush. This rests at the top and those two fingers rest just there. So that in any angle of attack to paint, you can do an upright stroke or a sideways stroke and so on. So to get the happy face or the smile, it's just making a smile, as it were, to start with, and then a sideways brush stroke, which is sure as a calligraphy brush stroke. So one, two, three, simple as that. Um, we then need the stem and the flower, which is two strokes, one, two, and there's a flower. So that is a morning glory flower, as I say, painting with a happy face. There's a happy face, and there's these sideways brush strokes. Um, in Chinese painting, we try not to repeat an angle, um, because that's bad form to repeat angles. So we try and make every different flower at a different angle as far as possible. So, in order to do that, another smiley face. Shoo, 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 and two strokes there. So we've got another flower. Now, four is an unlucky number in Chinese painting, so we try not to have four of anything in the composition. And so I'll keep this to three, just for the time being today. So one, smiley face, one, two, three, one, two. So we've got the different angles of the flower. Now, as well as flowers, we can have buds. So buds are just two brush strokes. So one and two, one and two, one and two. So we've got three flowers and three brush strokes there. And just to add a bit more to the composition, I have two there. Um, we've, we've got enough there for the sake of the composition. Now, to add the decorative elements to the, um, the Morning Glory, we need some ink. Now, you can either grind ink with an ink stick and a stone, or you can use ready-made ink. The problem with ready-made ink, it's a bit thin, so if you wanted to make that ink thicker, well, just grind it up with the ink stick and then you get thicker ink. So depending on how, what your personal preference is for thin or thick ink, those are the ways to overcome that. So to put the centre of the flower in, we just little stroke like that, stroke like that. So that's the centre of the flowers. The calyx is just three strokes, and these should really be three different lengths. As we've already said, we try not to repeat angles if possible. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sometimes you can't help but uh, make things similar, but in general, try to make them different because it makes for more vitality, life and interest in the picture. So there we are, we've got the centers, the calyxes and so on. Now, I need some brown, um, paint for the next uh, stem of the plant. So the stem of the plant is what I call the dancy dancy brush stroke. So along and stop, along and stop, along and stop, along and stop through the picture. And then we need to connect the plants and the flowers up to the plant. So these are then connected to the plant. Leaves can be green or whatever, but basically green. And this is shoe as a brush stroke. So there we're coming in, now we're coming out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So shoe, again, is a very useful brush stroke in painting leaves. Uh, when you think you've got enough, then if you want to leave the leaves as they are, you can do. If you want to put the veins on, well then we can add veins into the middle of the leaves like this. So we've got veins on the leaves. 
and the tendril of the plant is what I call the squiggly wiggly stroke. So you just do some squiggles and wiggles and that makes the tendril on the plant. And it's as simple as that, to do the shahi freestyle. It's normal to put a chop or a seal to represent the season um, on the painting. So for the season, we'll call this summer. So put that about there and then add the calligraphy, which is um, Gui Si Nien. So Gui Si Nien is there. So I've put the date, I've put, um, and the season. It's as easy as that, very simple. We've got the chop, identifying the season, and Gui Si Nien, which is this year, the year of the snake. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.